this is my thing. This is my point of view. If a motherfucker wants to get in the ring and they want to experience what a fucking we experience, we're gonna fucking fuck them up hard. There, cause there's no easy opponent. Nobody in, in, in a real fight, nobody gonna take it easy. So why in the gym you wanna take it easy and then you're gonna be so comfortable taking it easy on the motherfucker and when they experience the fight in the in the real fight, they're gonna be like, oh fuck it, this is real different, this is real hard, they're going crazy. Fuck that. You wanna experience a real fucking fight? You wanna you wanna be a fighter? I'm gonna treat you like a motherfucking fighter, I'm gonna hit your ass fucking hard. So the first time you got in the ring to spar the, the guy Shit, take it bro, easy? My dad, my dad was a fucking savage. I was five, I was eight years old. My dad said, a la verga. Vas a poner con un doce, a 12, a 12, a 12 año, like a 12 year old kid. Oh shoot. My dad said, fuck that. The vas a, the vas a ver. If you think it's well with para ese, para ese pinche sport, vamos a ver. Mete, échale dentro. So I went inside dude. Fuck, I got my ass beat. I started crying. And, and my, after I got done, my dad goes, si quieres pelear otra vez, you still want to do, you still want to do this shit, you still want to do this shit. I was like, a huevo, you know, I was like, yeah, I love it. He was okay then. Don't cry no more. Man. What, so what, what made you keep going back? Because a lot of guys, when they that, that would have made them not want to do it no more. What made me keep going back is because I love the sport, bro. Yeah, like people's gonna talk shit. Yeah, he still cries. Yeah, bro. The, you know why I cry? Because I get disappointed in myself, and I know I can do better. And I'm always like that. I'm a fucking sore loser. I hate fucking losing. I'm a fucking sore loser. You made it from myself. This is from. Brandon Real saying this shit. I'm a fucking sore loser. A sore loser. So when I fucking lose, I get so frustrated and I get mad at myself that I cry. That's why. It's not that I'm crying because I'm a pussy. It's not because I'm crying because you this guy's better me and everything, whatever. No, I cry because I'm a fucking sore loser and I get mad. I bring. I come down on myself. I'm. I'm, I'm always been like that. No matter even any sport. Even when I used to fucking back home, I used to play baseball. Our team lost, I cried because it feels like I didn't do it good enough so our team can win. I've always been like that, bro. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm a sore loser, like I said, I'm a fucking sore but loser. But you care losing. too, because a lot of guys lose and they don't care. At least I, I fucking hate losing, I hate fucking losing. You know, I did that one time. I, um, this one I was an amateur, uh, Hector Lopez, you know, he passed away, rest in peace. Yeah. He took me to one of my amateur fights, I was probably 15. 14 or 15, and uh, I ran out of gas again on the third round, and the uh, referee stopped it. And uh, and he goes, man, what the fuck is wrong with this, 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 this and that? What's wrong with you? I go, oh man, we'll do it next time. He goes, what do you mean next time? There ain't no fucking next time. I hid from him for six months. Even before, this gym was here in 1989. I came here in 89. But they would close the gym. This was yeah. not open to the public. Joe and uh, Gabriel and all of them would go to Big Bear. But there was another gym across the other side called the Jet Center. I hid from Hector Lopez for six months. <laughs> and so I went there one day and I was training. He found me. He could just get in the ring. He, he beat, kicked up. my ass. Yeah, he kicked my ass. That was a guy you don't want to fuck with.